Happy New Year to you all, it's 2017 now and I feel it's probably a good time to carry on with the little sort of video series on what the mobile networks did sort of technology wise in 2016. Now, as we saw in the last video, Overtoo did a lot of quite interesting and quite sophisticated and sort of interesting things. However, in this video I'm going to be covering what the Operator 3 has done. And 3 hasn't really done that much in 2016, sort of from a technological basis. So, towards the end of 2015, they released Faulty on their 800 MHz band. And in 2016, they sort of opened up that Vaulty capability to more devices, both natively and through their three in touch app and say like my moto g first generation which is actually a fairly old phone now can therefore use three 800 megahertz 4g for calling and sort of data use as an extended coverage layer compared to three's 1800 megahertz both layers have expanded coverage wise in 2016 as you would sort of expect with rising demand across the network in three being sort of especially quite a heavy data network as well. Although in terms of other technologies, I've not really seen sort of much deployed in 2016. 3 does have some six sector miles for 3G, but they've sort of existed before 2016. Um, in terms of things like 4x4 and higher more order MIMO, I've not seen any modulation schemes seems to be just sort of the fairly standard TM modes that you see, no sort of TM4 or above. I also haven't seen any refarm of 2100 MHz to 4G from 3G, so everywhere I go I still see three carriers on 3G 2100, although I did get a tweet from someone saying that they'd come across um, 4G 2100 megahertz for a short while, although they haven't seen it since I don't think and I've certainly not come across any 4G 2100 megahertz on 3 although I can sort of see it happening maybe in 2017 as LTE load continues to rise however 3 doesn't have the sort of benefit of a 2G layer to carry calls so the majority of their calling still by far is on 3G and you've got to have sort of working calling on your network really it's a pretty critical thing and also for that matter, 3's 3G load is still very high from what I gather as well. So I guess time will tell, but I'd be surprised if we don't see sort of 5 megahertz maybe of 2100 used for 4G, certainly in a trial sort of area in 2017. And for that matter, in terms of sort of future developments, the 2.3 gigahertz 4G ban is going up for sort of auction soon. So 3 might purchase that. But sort of as I've said, I mean, 3's not done sort of much in the way of brand new technical technological advancement sort of in 2016. I mean people thought that they were going to do allow Volte on the 1800 MHz 4G band as well alongside the 800 but that hasn't sort of happened this year but might well happen in 2017. Additionally 3's 800 MHz 4G layer continues to be below the sort of priority of the 3G See if you have a 3G signal available to you, the phone will use that instead of the 4G800, which is, I guess, not surprising again based on the probable load that they might get if they did put 4G800 above the 3G2100, and especially when you consider the cell density of 4G800 less than 3G2100. It's not completely surprising, although, as we said, you know, maybe sort of in time as their 1800 layer becomes sort of fuller and more wide ranging in sort of coverage and capacity and therefore shifting the sort of load off lower layers we might see the 4G800 priority system change. Thanks for watching this, I'm sorry it's not been as sort of interesting as the O2 one although I can't really help that 3 hasn't seen a need to um, release any sort of new technological developments in the year 2016 and I shall hopefully continue this series ending with Vodafone and EE, who both have actually done a fair amount this in the year 2016.